100 hours, we all know our assignment. With a precise and coordinated attack, we should be able to complete our mission by 0300 hours. Ready? <sighs> or we could just relax, watch Sex in the City, and hope the cleaning fairies show up tonight. Yeah, that reminds me of what I miss most about prison. Not having to shave your legs. OK, second most. Housework. We never had to do any housework. Why can't we do what they did there and just get a couple of guards to hose this place down? So we've gone from imprisoned hardened couch potatoes to freedom-loving couch potatoes. Yeah, but now we have the choice to be worthless and lazy. You know, I used to clean my own cell. I was once even named inmate of the month. <sighs> Never got to use parking space, though. I don't get it. We're highly trained government spies. If we can break into a jungle drug factory... Actually, they caught us. Yes, but... And they hung us from trees and bamboo cages. I know, but... It took us two weeks to chew through the bamboo. My point is, if we can break in, get caught, get hung up in a cage and chew our way through, we should be able to bust a little dust. Yeah, yeah but where's, where's the, the glory? glory? Exactly. exactly. There's, There's no, no challenge. challenge. <sighs> that is really starting to get on my nerves. We do seem to be doing it more and more lately. Do you think it's because we're spending too much time together? Yeah, we know everything about each other. <laughs> Likes, habits, enduring little idiosyncrasies. What's wrong with that? You organize your sock drawer by color, length, and date of purchase. I see what you mean. Look, we're a team. We're going to know a lot about each other. And there are times when knowing exactly what each other's going to do is a good thing. It's like when a ninja assassin cuts the power and crashes into your living room. Damn, that usually scares them away. Ma'am, is that your black SUV parked outside? Yes, it's double parked and it's blocking traffic. Not anymore. Reckless driving, too. Do you know who that was? No. But I have a feeling he'll be back. There are three career criminals with one shot at freedom. Now they're working for the feds who put them away. These are the women of She Spies. Bad girls gone good. Jack Mitchell. Remember, I, I see you every so often when I come by the agency to meet with the Sherman Clandestine Ops Division. <laughs> Hi, Jack. The hmm. usual? Oh, yes. Of course. Well, you do remember. I try to remember all my regular customers and what they order. Yes, well, 
That would be prudent. <laughs> so, uh, as one of your regular customers, you, you probably noticed I was gone the last two weeks. I went on vacation. I parasailed, went deep sea fishing, caught a shark. Really? Oh, where'd you go? Puerto Rico, the lovely seacoast town of Fajardo, about an hour from San Juan. Fajardo is a vacation paradise and host to a plethora of delightful sites and activities, including golf, sun-kissed beaches, and a world-famous butterfly farm. Oh, that sounds really fun. Yeah. Oh, here you are. Oh, Club Flip. Yeah. Did you go there? <laughs> Duh. I mean, of course you did. Unless you stopped by and didn't go in, so you can get your hands stamped to impress your regular customers who work for the agency's clandestine ops division. <laughs> 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 Is there anything else? Yes, there is. Um, uh, uh, biscotti. To dip. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great, thank you. Great. Oh, yum. Thank you. See you. <laughs> Take a double espresso, please. Okay, sure. Biscotti to dip. <laughs> Jeez, gee, Jack, that's so James Bond. Wait a minute. Could it be possible? Jack has a tan. Isn't that one of the seven signs of the apocalypse? Number six. It's right before Jack ends the program and sets us free to live a life of wild abandon. Apocalypse not. It wasn't the same when you got Welcome Jack. back. Oh, oh, hey, oh. Hey, that sounds sincere adjacent. We want to hear all about your vacation. Oh, my vacation? Well, wow. it was terrific. Parasailed, went deep sea fishing, caught a shark. A shark? You mean you caught a cold? Well, he said shark, but I'm sure he meant cold. Where was it? You want to hear? Puerto Rico. Lovely seacoast town of Fajardo, about an hour from San Juan. No, God, no. We'll talk, Jack. We'll tell you anything. We were trained to withstand water torture, electroshock, but not vacation photos. Fajardo is a vacation paradise and host to a plethora of delightful sites and activities. What's a plethora? Flora with a lisp. Including golf, sun-kissed beaches, and a world-famous butterfly farm. I hear the hard part is plowing them. Don't forget the nightlife. Fajardo's clubs and music are second to none. But can we afford it? You bet. Puerto Rico is the perfect vacation spot for any pocketbook. No, she meant can we afford the time to listen to this infomercial claptrap when you have another assignment for us. Oh, I so miss that, your irrepressible ability to make mock. It's just one more service we offer. Uh, well, she's right, though. I am getting ahead of myself. We'll schedule a get-together for your next day off to see all 17 rolls of film. So, your next mission. But where are the clear blue folders? There aren't any. But we like the clear blue folders. Nonetheless. Can we have any clear folder? It doesn't have to be blue. True. Any color will do. Did I mention the breathtaking vistas of El Sorry, 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 interrupt. Please, continue. The reason there aren't any clear folders, blue or otherwise, is that this is a level five, eyes only, code red top secret mission. No packet on it is even allowed to exist. Ooh. What we're dealing with here is an assassin, one who is virtually invincible and completely ruthless. Wait a minute. Are you saying he's totally without Ruth? Sorry, we have stored up two weeks worth of making mock. Did I mention you could be his next targets? The killer in question actually works for the agency, or did. He's a double agent, someone who's been under deep cover so long, only the chairman knows his true identity. I don't even have a picture of him, because no file on him exists. All I do know is his code name, La Puma. The cougar? See. Si. Why did he go bad? We don't know. What we do know is that he has information on all our agents. Information? Such as where we live, fighting styles, weaknesses. My sock drawer. What are you getting at? We were attacked last night at our home. Attacked? It must have been him. He knew where we lived. He knew there was a secret exit in the back. And there was something strange in the way he attacked. He had a gun, but he fought us first. Which is a polite way of saying he kicked our butts. Oh, my God. We're going to tell you. We just didn't want to spoil your return and all your vacation stories. Well, any more than we did. <sighs> Okay, right, we have to move on this immediately, tonight. Now, the only lead we have are traces of a Cuban cigar found recently in an agency safe house. DNA from his saliva identified it as his. It's the one on Magellan Street, the third floor apartment. Jack, here. It's me. Are you alone? 
Not yet. They're all here. But not for long. Yo, ladies. A little privacy. You want us to leave? Okay. Amy wants to be alone with his tan. Dr. Mayer. Is the plan underway? What are you, the assassin hall monitor? Let's go over the details. No, let's not. Listen, last night didn't... No, you, you listen, Chiclecita. That was last night. This is tonight. When you hire La Puma to do a job, he's on the job till the job gets done. He says it's done, or he gets done. Uh, in. Maybe I should put that on my business card. You want details? Here they are for the IQ impaired. Tonight, they walk into my trap. The night they die. Get it? Got it. Good. Hello? It's a lot an off day. I mean, come on, 99% of the time, you know what he is? Honest, trustworthy, and just a little bit boring. Not necessarily. How about his stories about his vacations? I mean, who would have picked him for a shark catcher? Or a parasailor, er. Okay, I admit, some people surprise you. There's more going on than what it seems, but in Jack's case, I don't think so. Mm. <sighs> Talk to me. Yeah, I'm in the safe house. They'll be here soon. Hey, doubting till Messina, don't worry. When it comes to dealing with threesomes, I do my best work at night. <laughs> Those blunder women are already dead. No, not actually. I'm gloating. That's what I do. I gloat and I kill. Mm, mm. Oh, you don't want a repeat of last night? Listen, why don't you run wee, 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 wee all the way home and let the big bad wolf do his thing? Last night, I played. I toyed. It was my pleasure. Tonight, will be strictly business. Which is confusing because it will still be my pleasure. <laughs> Wait, I should put that on my business card. Explain to me again why we just climbed up a three-story building with our bare hands instead of going to the front door and up the elevator. Because that's what he'd be expecting. Besides, this is much more panache. Yeah, well, time to jimmy the door. Just once, couldn't we Joey or Freddy the door? Well, we can't climb buildings and make light. Logic check here, but if the idea is to do something unexpected, wouldn't the unexpected, unexpected thing be to come through the front door and the expected, unexpected thing be to climb up the side of the building? I ain't going back down. So we die with panache. Oh, that's strange. It is lonely at the top. Top of the building. He's not here. Cliche saying. What? I can't help it. Okay. Don't sneak up and scare us like that. Well, pardon me. What is the proper way to sneak up and scare you? That'll do it. What's the problem? We all agreed to wear our full body bulletproof mesh. I was going to, but it makes my hips look big. It makes your what? Cassie? What were you two thinking? That you'd stand in front of us?
Now, time to play La Puma Star. Give me a J-Lo. A J-Lo? What's that? Whatever you want, just put it in a big ass glass. Jack? Jack? No, I'm the Jeopardy answer to men we'd love to know in the biblical sense. <laughs> so. Ferdinand, why don't you drop this deja vu and move on to some other pastor? She's heard all this bull before. Who the hell are you? Just a little kitty cat. But he who plays with cats must expect to get scratched. You are? Amy from the coffee kiosk. Such a long name. Are you okay? <laughs> if La Puma were on the verge of death without the use of his arms or legs, only then might he be reduced to okay. La Puma? Is that a nickname or? Well, nicknames are the distilled essence of truth. I don't understand. You're not meant to. I'm not meant to. They're only words, but words are all we have. Move close. How close? The length of my lips. <sighs> so, Amy from the coffee kiosk, I want to ask you a question. Is it better to live your life half asleep, floating, peaceful on the calm water surface, or to stir things up, stir them hard, and let whatever's lying on the ocean floor float up, frighten the fishermen? Is that one of those things I'm not meant to understand either? <laughs> <laughs> How's your life, Amy? Peaceful. And do you mind if I frighten the fishermen?
off. Garbage? Oh, I've got a bad feeling about the immediate future. Me too. Someone threw away 50 simple things you can do to save the Earth. Well, they could have at least recycled it. Remember complaining about being too close? We're about to get a whole lot closer. Oh no! I just remembered I forgot to return Star Wars to Blockbuster. What, I can't face death in my flight? I've got an idea. The chute is 12 feet up. True? It's the only escape. True. But we can't reach it. So? Two ways out. What's the first one? Act of God. Things happen. What's the second one? When the walls get close enough, Dee, you do your famous wall walk up, you grab onto the sides of the chute, hang down, we'll climb up you, and we'll pull you out right before you get crushed. Let's re-examine the God thing. Wait, look, I found a beam! Okay, guys, I'm going for it. Talk to me. Why didn't you call last night? Why didn't you answer your phone? La Puma had cat scratch fever. He took care of it. Sounds like you didn't. Did you do it? Are they dead? Did anyone see you? What happened? Gosh, so many questions. It's hard to know which one to ignore first. Did you succeed? <laughs> again and again and again. <laughs> Oh, Jack, you got some splaining to do. Something's different. You get a haircut. Um, nice cigar. And that is all I meant? I'm not going to say anything. You failed again. They're still alive. Jack, who are these three women? And there's a witness? Do nothing until I can think. I'll call you back. And until I do... <laughs> Jack, what's the matter? What's going on? Ladies, that's not what you think. Uh, yeah, then again, it's not what I think. Not that what I think is any different than what you think. But, uh... I do think that no one needs to know that I use headquarters as a you know, World Wrestling Federation cage match. Amy, I'm sure it was a really, really lovely evening. It's a same old, same old kind of night that we don't need to discuss in front of my coworkers. You can change in there. Tap yourself out the side door. And, you know, I'll call, okay? Or uh, you can um, just. Uh, that was Amy.
Jack, what's going on? Well, I evidently slept with a woman I've wanted to go out with for months, did go out with, and I don't remember a single thing about it. Oh, look, we've all had one of those jello shots and dancing transvestite kind of evenings. Haven't we? You at least remember asking her out and picking her up, right? No, nothing. Not a single thing from yesterday evening until when you... I wanted to ask her out for so long, ever since she started working at the agency. It's no secret that women are a bit of a mystery to me. But the real mystery is how I somehow, finally, turned into Prince Charming, went out with the princess, and then woke up here, where it all turned back into a pumpkin. My God. We gotta get out of here. <clears throat> Hello? Change of plan. Kill them now, any means possible. Don't stop until they're dead, and I don't care who sees. Get it? Got it. Good. What is going on? What are we doing? Yeah, we only two people on the team acting half-baked. Jack's not half-baked, he's fully baked. He's telling the truth, except the truth he's telling is a complete lie. Oh, good. Now that we've cleared that up, Jack never went on vacation. He just thinks he did. But somewhere between here and Puerto Rico, someone abducted him. How do you know? And why does that mean we'll be attacked? Can it wait? Till when? Now? Did we just walk into the middle of a David Lynch movie? It all made sense when I saw this photo. Fajardo's on the east coast of Puerto Rico. And that sunset's over the ocean. Right, so unless the sun sets in the east, this photo's a fake. Maybe it's just a backwards part of the country. I'll be quiet now. I'm guessing he never made it to the airport. That he was taken, drugged, put in a tanning booth, given these doctored pictures, and rewired to think he went on vacation. Rewired? Hypnotized. Jack was programmed to think he had two weeks of fun and frolic. And he was programmed to become La Puma? And he has no idea of either one. That's why Jack didn't remember his date last night. Because he didn't have it. La Puma did. Let's get him to the house. Huh? Huh? I don't know, this is more like it. Tied up by three beautiful women. Uh, I'd preferred four, but I'll make this work. Which one of you is into dominance? Quiet! That would be you. Deeds, I don't think this is gonna work. So you've hypnotized someone before? Plenty of times. I can hypnotize people and they don't even know I'm hypnotizing them. <laughs> you did the funniest chicken imitation at the agency Christmas party. Trust me, Jack will be a walk in the park. So, La Puma, why don't you make yourself comfortable? Why don't you make me comfortable? with hot candle wax and some clothespins. She was just kidding, right? Listen to my voice. It's soothing, isn't it? Mm. Like a river, a gentle, rolling river. You know, about the chicken thing? Carrying your mind on a beautiful journey. At the Christmas party? I wasn't at the Christmas party. Through lush valleys of verdant grass. Well, it's not like she can do it anyway. <laughs> and look. In the distance, is that a unicorn? Especially with that line of crystal-hugging New Age psychobabble. It's the most beautiful unicorn ever. <laughs> okay, you are Jack Mitchell, do you understand? Yes. I want you to go back, far back, as far back as you can remember. Oh, uh, I'm swimming fast. Uh, it's a race and I'm tired. And thousands swimming around me. Oh, I... There it is, up ahead, the egg. Mm, he's confused, his mental state is delicate. We have to be very careful not approach the issue too directly. Who the hell told you to kill us? Dr. K, Danielle K. Well, we could just ask him. <sighs> Amateurs. So, who is Dr. K? 
Oh, we were in the same department to develop the She Spies program. My idea was to take prisoners, reform them. Hers was to transform them into killing machines. How? Oh, a type of deep hypnosis she developed. Wipes away all morality, all fear, and gives the subject skills he never had before. And can she trigger that without him knowing? Yes, with a two-second tone at 800 hertz. But why you, Jack? Maybe because she was fired and her program was terminated. So this is about revenge? Funny thing is, I like Dr. K. She even sent me and Emily a very nice wedding present. Wedding? Mm-hmm. You were married? Yeah, still am. Well, in name only. Emily moved out a while ago. Jack, who is she? Oh, she's beautiful. Even a little out of my league. I think she married me for all the wrong reasons. She imagined prestige, travel. What she got from me was low pay, long hours. Until one night I came home and she was gone. We never got a divorce. As my wife, she still gets government perks and benefits. And I, I, I never pressed her for a divorce. I suppose part of me thinks someday, maybe. We'll... Wow. And you think you know somebody. Look, I've got a way to flesh out the good doctor. Shane, I need you to make a beeper at 800 hertz. Then we take him back to headquarters, untie him, and bring him out of this, but as the Puma. Sounds dicey. You think it'll work? It'll work. Oh, we'll die trying. La Puma. Well, they put up a bit of a struggle, but... It's over. They're dead. Well, I guess I never heard the saying, let sleeping cats lie. <laughs> I know it's dogs. I'm being clever. I'm at HQ. Come see for yourself. Good. Very good. Excellent. I did it. You did it? I do all the torturing, maiming, murdering, and you want in at the end to take the credit? <sighs> Us killers have got to form a guild. This really has nothing to do with you. You are merely my tool. La Puma's starting to get mad. And you don't want to be around when La Puma gets mad. Note to self, work on antidote for testosterone. In fact, I have half a mind never to work for you again. You don't even have half a mind. I have it all, you moron. Or should I say Jack? Who's this Jack? The agency backed the wrong horse. I just proved my way of training spies far superior to yours. And you helped me by killing your own agents. Blah, blah, blah. You were the perfect subject, Jack. Dull, predictable, an open book. The last person anyone would suspect. And I turned you into a killing machine. I even gave you the persona of La Puma to spice things up a little. You proved my theory that a spy's greatest weakness is being human. Remove all sense of right and wrong, all morality, and he's fearless. Make him fearless, and he's indifferent to pain. Indifferent? Wrong again, Corazon. La Puma loves pain. Oh, good. Because you have one more mission. Oh, and La Puma loves that even more than pain. Who do I kill? You kill La Puma. <sighs> La Puma? You see, the only way anyone could trace these murders back to me is through you. So you must eliminate the evidence. I see. And a long vacation to Zimbabwe? Doesn't work for you? So, La Puma's afraid. La Puma afraid? Oh, I'll show you. Afraid. 
Hasta la vista, la puma. Not yet. Wait till I'm far away from here. Is Leavenworth far enough? Oh, I... How? Why am I holding... Ask Dr. K. Danielle. For the last time, will you kill them? What the hell am I doing? I believe in gun control. I have a gun, I have control. What the hell am I doing? Ah, the smell of the desperate, the roar of the cowed. What the hell am I doing? Crying out loud, I'll do it myself. Thanks, Jack. Take it back, Jack. Oh, oh Cassie, are you all right? I'll get a transmitter. You're just a psychologist. A psychiatrist. And I took karate at the learning annex. This is crazy. I can't fight Jack. This joke's getting really old. Get the paper deeds! Was this something I said? Jack, oh. are you okay? Jack, we didn't mean to hurt you. We had no choice. Jack, it's a long story. We'll tell you all about it. If you tell us about Emily. Emily, how do you know about it? You were under hypnosis. And... Oh. Jack, you've got some, let's just say, some unresolved issues. Issues you need to put behind you. And if you did, maybe other issues like asking girls out or getting past a first date would be a little easier. You're right. I have to do it. Ask Emily for a divorce. Tomorrow. I'll do it tomorrow. But that doesn't mean Amy will go out with me. Not after what happened. You've got nothing to lose, if you're honest with her. Just like you're gonna be with us. We wanna know everything about your marriage. Can we explore that when the swelling in my skull just goes down? Mm -mm. We want it, and we want it now. Ugh. All the details from the very beginning. <laughs> beginning. <sighs> I remember it was dark. I was swimming, thousands around me. It was a race. I was tired. Yeah. Thank you. Amy. Look, Jack, I, I don't know what got into me. It was definitely interesting. <laughs> but you're not my type. I wasn't my type. Look, I'd like to go out with you. Jack, I don't. Just, just let me finish. This is very hard. I know you went out with me already, but you didn't. You went out with someone you thought was me. Yeah, I understand how it sounds. You don't have to believe me, but maybe you'll believe this. What really happened is all here in the agency case debriefing. Jack, this is internal only. You could get in big trouble. I don't care. I want you to know the truth. And the truth is you haven't really met me. I may not be as daring or exciting or crazy as the guy I was the other day. But I know I'm a better person. 
I don't need to read this. Right. Well, yeah. I figured you wouldn't want to go out. No. I'd like to go out with you. You would? I would. <laughs> and uh, don't sell yourself short. I say anyone who sneaks out an agency file is kind of exciting and daring. Uh, last week, mm -hmm. box of paper clips. Ooh. Even a little bit crazy. Hi. <laughs> uh, so, Friday? Friday's fine. Good. Great. Uh, hey, how about this new club? Uh, club Flip? Um. Sure. <laughs> uh, you, you want to go dinner first? I think or? dinner would be great. great. Yeah, there, you know that new restaurant opened up. It's, it's Japanese. I think. Do oh, you like that? Yeah, I have so many allergies. I usually bring my own. But whatever you like, I'll go and I can eat anywhere. Back.